Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and this is part five of our 100% walkthrough for Resident Evil 3. We're gonna grab all the collectibles. I'm gonna show you how to get every achievement in the game, guys. Here we are in the safe room. Show you on the map. It's called the dark room. We're in RPD, the police station. All right, we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna get a key. We're gonna equip our handgun as we head up the stairs here, guys. Ignore this first uh, area. The star's office is up ahead. Continue up Copy first, that. guys. Don't worry about that little interruption. This guy here, he's playing possum. Let's deal with him. Are you dead, mate? I think he's dead. All right. Let's just reload that. And the reason we're coming up here is for this key. Now, over there, guys, there is a locked locker. I do know the code, obviously, but we're going to go grab the code in a second and we'll grab that, whatever's in that box, uh, once we've got the code. Feel free to skip forward in the video if you want to know the code automatically, but we're going to go all the way back down. Going to equip our grenade. And we are going to walk slowly here. And we're gonna get ready for a liquor. As soon as we see it, if it's on the ground, we're gonna just roll the grenade at it. Here it is. Here we go. Kaboom! And equip your assault rifle, just in case. Yeah, see ya mate. All right, perfect. Use the key that we just picked up to grab to get into this door. And we can get rid of that key now. One time use. All right, head inside. Watch out for this guy. Oop. Yeah, I knew, I knew you weren't dead yet. Should be fine now. All right, head up the back, grab, what's this? Charlie doll number 11, kaboom. Okay, and after the Charlie doll, head back here, grab this note off the whiteboard here, and it is the code to the locker that I just pointed it out upstairs, DCM. And we're gonna unlock a couple of lockers here. We are going to unlock 104, that's required for the story. That is a battery that we need for later, or for shortly, really. Uh, we're also going to unlock 106. Grab some assault rifle ammo and 109. Replace our grenade that we just used. All right, let's go and open all those on the right hand side. Grab the battery. Mine now. Yeah, it is. My battery. Mine, mine, mine. All right. Come the and the hand grenade. All right. Off we go. We're gonna go all the way up to that locker now, guys. This corridor should be clear. Yikes! Raining zombies again. Oh, did that guy? Is that guy alive? Oops. Okay, might just deal with him. Don't want him uh, getting in my way. Oh shit, oh shit, okay, come on. Don't want to get stuck in that corner. Oi, hold still. There we go, all right. I've already dealt with him. Okay. D C M. Once again, that is the same as it was in RE2, same location. Grab some more assault rifle ammo and some more in there, but you might get something different in that box, guys. All right. Head back down. Now 
Now, I just realized I did not take the green herb from downstairs, but we're actually about to get another one. So uh, if you've got room for it, go and grab it. Uh, we're gonna head inside here. Let's just show on the map where we are. We're going to the shower room. Now, earlier we did um, come, uh, we did get a code for this locker. One sec. Copy that. All right, first we're gonna grab note number 31, I believe we're up to. It'll be in the timestamps anyway, guys. That'll be a more accurate count of where we're up to. Can't keep track of my notes while we're recording sometimes. All right, so grab that note and we're gonna unlock this. If you remember, the code was CAP. Should be a flash grenade in here. There we go, pick that up. Should also be the green herb that I was talking about. And those two, uh, sorry, I just forgot to mention the two lockers, the one upstairs and that one, that they are lock 13 and lock 14 as part of the achievement. Now what we wanna do is equip our grenade and then we wanna go and interact with this bomb here. What you wanna do is combine it with the battery and then use it on the wall. Okay, that blast is going to attract a uh, bit of a, uh, a nest of zombies, guys. So we're just going to wait a little bit, though. Actually, I did just equip the battery, but I'm just going to take out one first. All right, and just get one in behind him. There we go. Okay, and then equip your assault rifle. See how many survivors there are. There's one. A couple. Hey. Hold still. Okay. Usually at least... I'm taking number. I was gonna say, usually at least one more around here. Hey, and the guy at the door. I was about to warn you about him. I didn't think I was close enough yet. A bit occupied with her. Hey. Back down, thank you. All right, we're good, we're good. Okay, grab assault rifle ammo there. Uh oh, oh really, mate? Man, it sucks to be popular. Yeah, <laughs> and I believe there's more in here somewhere. First aid spray, if you need it. Can we carry that even? Oh, we actually could if we want to. Let's take it just in case. All right. Now, through here, we are going to need probably a flashbang and our assault rifle. And actually, before you open the door, I did want to actually equip the flash grenade. That would be smarter. All right. Have it ready as you walk through the door. Throw it at this guy. Okay. And... Lay into him, spend the whole clip. Oh, uh oh, I missed him. Where'd he go? Oh, oh, I tried to. Okay, here we go. Okay, that is not really how you meant to do it, but we took care of him. Should be able to finish him with one clip if you don't miss like I did. Uh, look, if you take some uh, damage as well, don't worry. Use the green herb, or if you've taken more than a little bit of damage, use one of those if you've uh, been following along, guys. All right. Grab the, whatever's in that box if you can carry it, and then head down the hall here. Ignore the star's office for just a second. We're gonna grab some ammo on the windowsill, some assault rifle rounds and into the star's office just here. I'll show you on the map. That's where we are now, guys. Dr. Bard. 
Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or hmm. send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. And we can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. Now, I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. This'll take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. All right, first thing we wanna do once we've got control again is head in here for note number 32 on the desk here. Pick it up. There we go. Is that Jill in the front row? Bit of an Easter egg there. Okay. And we're just going to loot the uh, star's office. Don't open the item box. Don't open the item box. Do we need a first aid spray? Who knows? But we're not coming back here. So just pick up anything we can carry. Another flash grenade. And there's a couple of goodies in the armory. And we can also use uh, Brad's ID card again. More assault rifle rounds. Can also get rid of the card now if you need room to carry anything else we saw. And I think there's one more. I thought there was something else. Maybe not. Let me check my notes. Flash grenade and... Yeah, flash grenade. Where's the flash grenade? Did I already get it? Oh well. Disregard. Okay. Once you're happy that you've got everything, oh, there's a red herb. I'm gonna just gonna combine that, save having to do it later. There we go, and go to leave the office. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill. Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. Ooh. She is one tough SOB, am I right? Or is it DOB? And back in control here. Head through the door. Use your muscles, Jill. Atta girl. All right, we find ourselves in another safe room. Carlos? Come in. Carlos? Oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of range. First thing you want to do is grab note number 33. All right, and then just have a look at how much room we've got. Okay. Not sure if I'm going to need the red herb at this point. I'm gonna discard it. And I'm gonna pick up the first aid spray and the mine rounds. Definitely want those guys. If you've got too many flame rounds, if you've got leftover flame rounds, get rid of those. Uh, I think we've got explosive rounds stored in 
the uh, grenade launcher, but definitely want the mine rounds, okay? Now we're gonna do a manual save. Now, with that save done, guys, make sure you equip the uh, shotgun. Don't forget the extra rounds. My note said to pick up two of them, and I saw that had two, but I meant two different lots of them, obviously, in my notes. Good note taken, Aussie, but we got them in the end, so make sure we've got four rounds. Make sure you've got that, and like I said, equip the shotgun. What we're gonna do here, guys, if you haven't already got it, we're gonna get the achievement for killing two enemies with one shot. We've got a couple of chances to do it here, and if you don't get it from these two chances, I recommend reloading the save and trying again. All right, just get these guys to get up and come towards us. One at a time, guys. I mean, no, not one at a time. <laughs> I just want them to be nice and close to each other and go boom. Hopefully, if you did it right, I'll find out in a second. Obviously, I've already got the achievement, so it's not going to pop on screen for me. But if, as long as those guys are both dead, the achievement will pop for you. I'm just going to run past them. The second bedroom, you'll see there's two sort of lots of beds here. In the second one, under this bench, is Charlie doll number 12. Should be number 12, guys, so make sure you take care of him. Now, if you didn't get the achievement there, you can have another go at it right here, guys, at the top of the stairs. There's gonna be another group coming towards us. Here we go. Should be three here. Looks like I took down all three. Just gonna make sure. Did I just hear another one down here? Ah, I think we did it. Oh, yes, I did hear. Ooh, lucky. Okay, she's not dead. Like I said, though, guys, if you don't have the achievement, load that save we just made and try again until you get it. Definitely my advice to get it out of the way anyway. All right, we did it. Excellent. Just going to make sure my shotgun's all loaded up. Don't think there's any goodies out here. All right, head up the ladder. Fuck, All right. Alive. I can't stay here. Head down here, guys. Grab the handgun ammo here. If you can't carry it all, don't worry about it. Don't, don't discard anything for handgun ammo, that's for sure. There's a green herb here if you can fit it in and if you need it. I've already got, as you can see, I've got the first aid spray. So one full heal should be enough here. And then I think it's behind this. No, hang on. On the bench down here, the second bench down here is the next note. This is going to be note number 34. Clock tower brochure. There we go. And from here, we're gonna get the next Charlie doll, guys. So head up here and over behind this green van. Take care of this guy. Just gonna show you on the map exactly where we are. All right, once again, a green herb over there if you need it, guys. Make sure you have at least one healing item before we head this way. Now what we're gonna do is equip our grenade launcher just for a second. What you wanna do is make sure, see it's got explosive rounds in it at the moment. Pressing LB twice changes mine to mine rounds. I definitely want the mine rounds in it to start with. Uh, we do have a battle coming up where we're gonna be using this guys. And we are gonna switch between mine rounds and explosive rounds. So just make sure you're familiar with how to do that. But equip the mine rounds for now. I'm also going to uh, shortcut it to down on the D-pad for now. And then what we're going to do is equip the shotgun before we continue on. Head up the stairs. Did all that before we came up the stairs because we get a little auto save there. Uh-oh. Bitch can't even swim. Oh, please. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. 
Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Ah, shit. Uh oh. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? I bet you can guess what's going on here, guys. Get back! Sorry, can't talk, gotta run. Literally just run for now, guys, nothing else. Just straight ahead. Half the time, I'm not even sure if we're controlling this run. I'm not gonna stop holding forward to find out, though. Now we're all right. Well. If you can call it that. Get ready for a boss fight, guys. As soon as we get control, we're going to load into him with the shotgun. Oh, come on! All right, whoa, dodge there. Now try and get as close to headshots as you can get. All right, all six of them, come on. All right, unfortunately, sometimes six is enough. Oh, reloading, I thought I had reloaded, but my dodge must have stopped the reload, okay. Don't worry about that. Okay, once that happens, we're going to switch over to our grenade launcher. He's going to start running around. What you want to do is put a mine up here and then swap over to explosive rounds. So put a mine on that building right there. Stand somewhere in the middle because he's going to get shot off to the I'm side. And when he lands, we are going to hit him with that. And then we're going to switch to our shotgun. Try and dodge that, I'm pretty sure I did dodge it. Not sure what was going on there. Load into him with the shotgun a few times. Hang on, reloading. Nah, no fair, no fair, that's okay. All right, when he starts running again, switch to our grenade launcher. Put in the mine rounds. Fire it up here again, don't worry if you miss one lap. Don't miss two laps though. Now switch to explosive rounds again. Okay, fire the explosive round at him there, and we're going to stick to explosive rounds here. Let's bend them all if we have to. Okay. Switch to mine rounds again. Alright, one more up here. Switch to the shotgun now. And finish him off, hopefully, with a shotgun. Oh. Can't dodge while I'm reloading. It's so annoying. Reloading, no fair. Still can't dodge. Should be super close to finishing him here. Hey! Won't let me shoot. There we go. Couple more shotgun rounds. Usually those explosive rounds do the trick, so not sure what really happened there. Pretty decent boss fight though. You still there? Oh, come on, you're gonna crap out on me now? God damn it. Okay, now, depending on how much damage you took, you may want to use first aid spray that we brought with us or any other heal that you brought. Do not walk through there until you've done looting the area. Definitely want to replace some of our mine rounds. Let's just see what we've actually got in here. Okay, reload that. And we've got, so we've got five of those and three flame rounds now. I'm just going to get the knife out. I'm going to put it back there. Whoops! <laughs> I was supposed to use the knife for that. Uh, it doesn't matter. Didn't hurt. Alright. Did waste some ammo though. Grab all the goodies there. Can't remember where they all are now. I know there's a green herb over in the middle somewhere as well. Go and check over here. 
There's a green herb. We can combine it with the red herd we just picked up. Ooh. Uh, what do I want? Okay, hang on. What we're going to do is combine that with that. And I'm going to actually get rid of... We don't need more than six flame rounds. So I'm going to get rid of the excess three. Oops, not X. Discard those. Pick up the extra shotgun shells. If we need to, we're also going to get rid of those uh, extra handgun bullets. Yeah, I'd rather nine shotgun shells than these. So get rid of those. Pick up the shotgun shells. I do believe there's more... There's the herb I was talking about. I wonder if there's more rounds. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Perfect. Um, can I fit those somewhere? Let me think. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, here's what you want to do. Is you want to equip the grenade launcher. Make sure it's got something with six rounds in it. Okay, six flame rounds. Pick these up. It's going to be four left over. Um, definitely want the two lots of shotgun shells. So let's just, let me just move this around so I know what's going on here. We could get rid of these nine shells and take the mine rounds with us. I think we might do that. Yeah. It's important for a save that we're going to make later for farming later in the game too. It might come in handy. So I'm going to drop these shotgun shells. We've already got 40. Ooh, make sure we uh, reload the shotgun first. All right, because now we're dropping even less, so it's an even easier decision. All right, get, get rid of those. No, not, not, not examine. Discard, mate. There we go. And pick up these. There we go. I don't need the green herb, do I? If you need it, though, grab it. All right. And once you're happy that you've got everything that you want, we are going to leave the area. Okay, one last lap. All right, head over here. I would be making sure I'm way more than what she is. Trained pro my ass. <laughs> Oh, I haven't actually seen how this happens. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <sighs> Ouch. Interesting. You've done me a big... This guy. <laughs> Roughly half a day? Jill! Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Barr can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Time for Carlos to the rescue. Here we are. Okay, back in control. First, we're going to grab 
assault rifle rounds, and we're gonna make a save, let's do that. And you guessed it guys, that is the end of this video. Once again, thank you so, so much. I can't stress that enough. I really, really do appreciate everyone supporting the series. All right guys, uh, like I said, thank you. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, those two things really help me grow here on YouTube. Also come and say hi over on Twitch, and if you want to support the channel, go to my Patreon page, become a member of the Aussie Army for just $1. Links are in the video description, as are the timestamps for the collectibles, and I'll catch you all next time.